I think I have mentioned how smart and wise the Polish woman is, but I am going to reiterate that because I am deeply grateful and deeply lucky to have this amazing woman in my life. She cuts through my bullshit in such a beautiful way, in this manner that is both kind and blunt. And I'm kind and blunt, honestly. (laughs) But I had a talk with her, and she said to me, Ed, you were really attracted to drama. And I thought about it, and I pushed back a little bit, but then I said, you know, you know what? You're totally right. You're totally fucking right. I'm not as much of a a needless drama participant as I used to be, but... uh, yeah, it's still a problem. It's still a deep problem. Um, I haven't entirely cut the Gordian knot, although I've taken a good whack at uh, a lot of the terrible ropes that connect to my shitty abusive upbringing. I grew up with constant shouting, constant abuse, physical, emotional, mental, verbal. And when you grow up that way, God does it fucking damage you. God, does it make you a freak and a weirdo? God, does it make you something that in which you're going to be misunderstood? In which people are going to detect that something is off? Well, what's off about me is that I carry the deep pain. And I'm very sensitive in so many ways. Uh, especially about uh, how people falsely betray me. And it's their right to falsely betray me, but... Uh, you know, when you uh, when you cut deep, I'm going to cut deep. And you have to end it at a certain point. I think one of the reasons why I'm driven to performing like I do here is because um, it's better than engaging in drama. If I can make a joke about something and if I can laugh at it, it will be uh, it will it will significantly cut down the pain. If, if the sting of what someone has said to me can be received by me and and responded to with humor, then that's good for everyone. And, and very often when I've responded with humor, um, people have seen the folly of of the dispute. But um, that's not the case with a lot of humorless people who live to look for people who were living with pain and living with abuse and who are thus attracted to drama, as I am. And I've got to do something about this. I did start by picking up the phone and making some calls. Full mea culpa. I did start by uh, carrying on and owning up and not condemning in these phone calls. And the other people were, thankfully, very understanding and kind. And that's good. You got to be real. Uh, I got to do something about this. I got to do something about this whole drama thing. Because it has damaged me on a number of fronts. I would be a success. Absolutely. uh, If I wasn't attracted to drama. But now, you know, I am completely obscure because I have managed to really piss off a lot of people because I have seen the drama in every situation and uh, yeah that's that's on me that's on me there's a parallel universe out there somewhere with another me who is a huge success who is a published novelist who is on the radio all the time who is on television all the time. There's a parallel universe in which this guy is respected by his peers in the media world, in intellectual circles. The same guy is reading just as prolifically as I am, speaking just as eloquently as I am. And that guy is a huge fucking star in this parallel universe. Not this one, but in this parallel universe. Because... He learned how to de- how to not invite drama in his life. He learned uh, how to let things go. He learned not to fight every fucking conflict. 
which is what I have done in this universe, in our universe. But in that parallel universe, he's a fucking success. Now, I don't begrudge uh, myself. You have to be true to who you are, but that's the real fucking truth. This is why I am close to 50 and I am flailing around. But look, at least I know now. Now the question is, is what the fuck do I do to, uh, to, to, to fix this? I've been really real with you guys on TikTok, but, uh, uh, you know, I know people are watching and my feeling is if I'm completely fucking vulnerable, then it'll be easy for me to not be uh, attracted to the drama. I am finding that the name calling and the assertions do not phase me as much but the cruelty of people does. Like like calling for me to kill myself when I attempted suicide in 2014, that is like holding a bottle of scotch under a recovering alcoholic's nose and saying, drink this motherfucker, drink this. That's cruel. And I'm someone who fight, likes to fight cruelty. But when I do so in this manner, it can be perceived as a personal beef as opposed to a greater moral problem that I am fighting. I got to figure this out. I got to figure this out. Anyway, for those of you who are on board with flawed Ed in our universe, who is not a success, but who still has a lot of fucking talents and a lot of skills and is actually a pretty decent guy if you can deal with this other bullshit. <laughs> Uh, thank you. If you've made it this far, seven fucking minutes of me rambling, Jesus Christ. If you've made it this far, hats off to you. Watch cap off to you.